Hi, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching Adderall TV. For today's segment, we're going to deconstruct a commission. Now, in previous episodes, I've talked about the do's and don'ts of approaching picture editors for magazines and newspapers, especially when you're first trying to get on their radar. But before we get into the nuts and bolts, I just want to say that this business is all about who you know or who can potentially pass your details onto a potential client. So job one is to increase your client list. And job two is to make sure that any commissions you do get, you do them the best you can and on time. Because we all know that in this business, you're only as good as your last job. So you wake up on a Monday morning, you look in your email inbox, and lo and behold, you've got a commission. So what do you do next? I think the best way for me to illustrate this is to deconstruct a book commission I did a while back. Keep in mind that there are basically two kinds of commissions. One, where you go after the commission yourself by sending in ideas, and hopefully you get a little nibble. And two, where a media outlet comes after you. That's what we're gonna look at today. The book commission I'm gonna look at is one offered to me by Lonely Planet Guidebooks. It's a coffee table book called The City's Book. Now, just to be clear, I wasn't the only person who worked on this book. There was a number of us photographers who collaborated to make sure the book went well. Like most jobs, getting success as a professional photographer is a matter of patience and perseverance. By honing your skills not only with a camera, but by increasing your client list as well. For this particular book, the company included 200 cities. And as much as I would have liked to photograph them all, it was physically impossible. So the commissions I was offered was for four cities, Sarajevo, Tirana, Sofia, and Belgrade. They were each their own separate commissions with different conditions attached. The actual amounts I was paid for the commissions is not relevant. However, what is relevant is how you go about negotiating for these kinds of commissions. Even though times are tough today, there's always a little wiggle room if you have the courage to look for it. After all, with these kinds of commissions, the client sought you out. So be brave, but not arrogant. For these particular commissions, I had to pay all my own expenses. Airfares, accommodation, food, ground transport, etc. And pay the taxes. This is normal. So before you agree to doing a big job, make sure you factor in all the incidentals. If, for example, once you factored everything in, you're going to be left with little profit, you might want to rethink the deal. So this is where your negotiating skills come into play and research as your friend. So before agreeing to do a big job, make sure you find out exactly what it's gonna cost you. Remember though, it's a bit of a balancing act. You don't wanna sell yourself short, but you don't wanna come across as too brash either. So keep your letters business-like, and to the point, be firm, but be flexible. I'm just gonna mention the big C here, copyright. Make sure you're clear on who controls the copyright at the end of the job. Ideally, you want to maintain the copyright to the pictures because then you can make more money down the road from different avenues. Most magazines or newspapers are not interested in the copyright. Book publishers could be a little different. Just make sure it's written at the contract that you own the copyright, and if not, then you want to be paid more. For these particular commissions, the company sent me a shot list of images they wanted. This was a great help and allowed me to organize my time in each city. And because I was retaining the copyright, I knew that the more images I shot that were good, the more money I would make down the road. Even though I knew each city would only get about four to five pictures in the book, the lists were exhaustive, meaning the editors wanted as much choice as possible. But this worked out in my favor. The jobs are hard and tiring, but worth the effort, because some of those images have gone on to make a fair bit of money in other areas. So be aware of all the intricacies of the contracts. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of commissioning is dependent on your track record and your client list. But building a solid reputation, getting your work done on time and done well, plus being easy to work with, goes a long way to getting work in this industry. So that's it for me. I'm Doug McKinley for Adorama TV. Don't forget, you can subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. And let us know what you think. You can like, comment, or share this video. And please stop by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks.